Hi everyone. First of all, I suggest all of you stay safe and stay home and stay safe. <clears throat> the today's topic is yarn count and counting system. In which I tried, <coughs> we try to understand the basic concept of yarn count and counting system. And the contents of this video as follows definition of yarn count different counting system indirect system and direct system and definition of count in cotton english system and calculation related to cotton english systems first of all the definition of count the def yarn count can be defined in different ways first Count is a numerical expression which expresses the thickness of a yarn. Second, count is the count is a number which indicates the fineness or coarseness of a yarn. And third one, count is a number expresses the linear density of a yarn. However, in simple way, we can express we can define the count. Count is a number expresses whether the yarn is coarse or fine. The yarn count is measured in terms of linear density that is in two different ways that are length per unit mass or weight per unit length. Next counting system. The counting system is broadly classified into two types. One is indirect system and second one is direct system. Indirect system is also yeah, is based upon fixed weight system and is calculated on length per unit mass and this system is used for spawn yarn and the some examples of the indirect system that are new english cotton system metric wested and linen etc and the direct system there is also <coughs> called fixed length system and this is the calculation is based upon weight per unit length and this system is used for filament yarn just like silk, polyester, nylon and other filament yarns and denier and tex are the examples of mostly used systems within direct system. Next indirect system. In this system count indicates the number of length unit per weight unit. <coughs> cotton English system, cotton metric and wested and linen are the some of the mostly used systems within indirect system. The length unit and weight unit of these systems as follows. For cotton English system, weight unit is 1 pound and length is hank of 840 yards. For cotton metric, Weight is 1 kg and length is hank of 1000 meter. For wasted, 1 pound hank of 560 yards. And for linen, weight unit 1 pound and length unit is hank of 300 yards. In this system, higher will be the count, finer will be the yarn, and vice versa. It means if the count is increased, then the thickness of the yarn is decreased. It means higher will be the count, then the yarn will be finer. So the relationship between count and thickness is inversely proportional. That means count is inversely proportional to the thickness. To understand this, I I give a uh, the <coughs> give examples that is uh, suppose though <coughs> though uh, two person take one kg atta and prepare rotis to dono log ek ek kilo atta liye aur roti banane shuru kar liye suppose jo roti bana rahe hain sabka size same hai and ek <coughs> one person make 20 rotis from 1 kg atta and one person make 
फिफ्टीन रोटी तो उसमें हम ये देख सकते हैं अगर हम वही एक के जी आटा में अगर बीस रोटी बनाते हैं तो जो रोटी उसमें होगा वो पतला ही होगा और अगर उनमें उसमें हम फिफ्टीन रोटी बनाए हैं तो वो रोटी जरूर मोटा होगा तो फ्रॉम दिस कंसेप्ट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ काउंट इन इन डायरेक्ट सिस्टम दैट इज अगर हम एक पाउंड यान या एक पाउंड फाइबर से अगर हम यान बनाते हैं तो अगर उसमें हम ट्वेंटी हैंक्स बनता है एक पाउंड में अगर ट्वेंटी हैंक्स बनाते हैं और सेम एक पाउंड से अगर हम टेन हैंक्स बनाते हैं तो टेन हैंग्स एंड ट्वेंटी हैंग्स में ट्वेंटी हैंग्स जो होगा वो पतला ही होगा तो इसका मतलब अगर हम नंबर काउंट नंबर इज इंक्रीज देन दिस द थिकनेस विल बी डिक्रीज सो इट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट सिस्टम दैट मींस हायर विल बी द काउंट फाइनर विल बी द यार और काउंट इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द थिकनेस नेक्स्ट कॉटन इंग्लिश सिस्टम कॉटन इंग्लिश सिस्टम इज मेनली मोस्टली यूज सिस्टम इन इन डायरेक्ट सिस्टम इन दिस सिस्टम काउंट डिफाइन एज द नंबर ऑफ हैंग्स ईच ऑफ एट फोर्टी यार्ड्स वेज वन पाउंड एंड ये टेबल दैट गिव्स यू फॉर डिफरेंट काउंट्स फर्स्ट फॉर टेंस एनी सपोज फॉर टेंस एनी काउंट that weight is 1 pound and length is 10 hanks and length in yards that is 10 into 840 is equal to 8400 yards and in new english system one hank is equal to 840 yards it means 1 pound of yarn contains 10 hanks similarly 16 any yarn in if you take 1 pound of yarn that contains 16 hanks same if you for 2 20 is any cotton yarn if you take 1 pound of yarn that contains 20 hanks if you uh, convert the uh, length in yards that is 20 into 840 that is 16800 yards next what do you understand from 20s any cotton yarn when this type of question is asked you just answer uh, <coughs> by giving the length and weight you yeah, expressed the you yeah, define the count by expressing the weight and length 20s any cotton yarn means 20 hanks each of 840 yards weighs 1 pound इट मीन्स ट्वेंटीज हैंक्स में का अगर हम ट्वेंटीज एनी कॉटन यार्न में अगर हम ट्वेंटी हैंक्स का ट्वेंटी हैंक्स का धागा लेंगे तो उसका वजन एक पाउंड ही होगा नेक्स्ट दैट इज कैलकुलेशन इन इनडायरेक्ट सिस्टम दैट गिव्स अ फॉर्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेशन इन इनडायरेक्ट सिस्टम काउंट इज इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ लेंथ यूनिट upon number of weight unit that is the base formula to calculate in indirect system if the length is given in hanks and weight in pound then count is equal to num length in hanks or number of hanks upon weight in pounds if the length is given in yards and weight in pound then count is equal to length in yards upon 840 whole divided by weight in pounds here length in yards upon 840 gives you the number of length units and weight in pound is directly divided because the weight unit is 1 pound and <clears throat> next for any for any other system in indirect system we can use the formula count is equal to length upon length unit whole divided by weight upon weight unit and simply if you <coughs> simplify this that is length upon length unit into weight unit upon weight
a simple numeric that is frequently asked on for cotton English system. What is the weight in grams of one hank of a 20s any cotton yarn? This question can be solved in two different ways. In first way, first of all, what are the given parameters in the question? Count is 20 is any, length is one hang and question is asked what is the weight in gram. We know count is equal to length in hangs upon weight in pound. So, weight in pound is equal to length in hangs upon count that is 1 upon 20 pounds. Now it is converted to grams that means weight in grams is equal to 1 upon 20 into 453.6 as 1 pound is equal to 453.6 grams that is 22.68 grams and it can be solved in the second way in this manner uh, we know that from counting systems 20 is any cotton means 20 hanks of 20 is any cotton yarn weighs 1 pound. So, 1 hank of yarn weighs is equal to 1 upon 20 pound. So, now the pound weight is converted to grams. Now, weight in grams is equal to 1 upon 20 into 453.6 that is equal to 22.68 grams as 1 pound is equal to 453.6 grams. Next, direct system. In this system, count indicates the number of weight unit or length unit. And denier metric and tex are the mostly used systems within, in, within direct system. And the weight unit and length unit of these units are for denier metric, weight unit 1 gram and length unit 9000 meter. And for tax, weight unit 1 gram and length unit 1000 meter. In denier metric system, count defined as the number of grams per length of 9000 meters. Similarly, the count is defined, yeah, the count is defined in tax system as the number of grams per length in tax system, the count is defined as the number of grams per length of 1000 meters. And in this system, that means in direct system, if count is increased, the thickness of yarn will be increased and vice versa. It means if the count is increased, then thickness is increased and if count is decreased, then thickness, thickness will be decreased. So, count is directly proportional to the thickness. So, this system is called direct system. And thanks for watching. Thank you.